In this video today, I'm going to be talking about how I created these amazing applications without coding a single line myself. I created an audio scribe and summarizer using Gemini 2.5 Pro, which does a raw transcription and an AI summary of that. Also created basic applications like a mockup design for my mobile app, which would look something like this. And then I created a really basic doodle application which is something like this. So stick to the end of the video and I bet your time will be worth it and you will be taking exceptional key tips and best practices for vibe coding. So let's get started with the video and start with this really basic application that we have here. And before starting the video, I want to talk about this new update. So in this new update, they have significantly improved the capabilities for coding, especially for building compelling interactive web apps. And they wanted to release this update later on with the Google I.O. in a couple of weeks, but they did it early on because of the overwhelming support and enthusiasm for this new Gemini 2.5 Pro model. We're going to actually use this model to create applications locally on a machine as well as use their Gemini app to create it on the go and check out the previews. So let's start with the demo and the prompt of this really basic simple doodle app. So I asked Gemini to create a simple doodle web app where we can create doodles and paint with basic features and make the design simple because I didn't want it to be too much complex and just a simple application. So here you can choose different colors. Let's say we want to choose uh, this color right here, maybe this one, and then you can choose the brush size and you can create an emoji. There you go. Just a doodle. It looks really cool. And you can erase anything if you want to increase the brush size cool thing although it is way too simple and it was done in one shot that is something i really like about this new model 2.5 pro preview because it is really good with math coding and reasoning now let's move to the next application that we want to talk about and stick till the end of the video because at the end of the video i'm going to be talking about the most complex application that i built today using vibe coding so let's go ahead and talk about this application i created this app mockup design for my skill cup mile app although it would look more like a web app here but react native was used at the back to support mobile application it's just this preview feature that lets you see everything in this web view so we created this application where we have this ai tools these cool transitions for different tabs as well as this hover effect and we can add much more things in it but this was the basic layout and again i did not code a single line it was done by gemini 2.5 pro now the previous two applications were the really basic ones and starting with this third application we're gonna dive really in deep with wipe coding and actually produce something that has impactful application. So the prompt for this one is huge. So I'm gonna be creating a Word document where I'm gonna be pasting in the prompts for all of these projects and I will paste the link of the Word document in the video description. So you don't need to worry about the prompts, you will get all of them. So I asked you to create an application where I can record myself or have some simple features like record, pause or stop. And I should see a wave graphic here while I'm recording. And after I'm done recording and hit stop, it should actually go ahead and use AI for raw transcription and AI summary. So let's actually go and take a demo of this. Today, I went on and I created four different applications using this new release of Gemini 2.5 Pro and I am amazed by the results and right now I'm testing one of these and as soon as I hit stop you can see it started transcribing and processing the summary so here is the transcription today I went on and created four different applications using this new release of Gemini 2.5 Pro and I'm amazed by the results right now I'm testing one of these as for the AI summary, it breaks down and just keeps the important chunks. So created four different applications using Gemini 2.5 Pro, amazed by the results and currently testing one of the applications. So this is more like your own personal audio transcriber and summarizer. You can go ahead and spit out ideas that keep bombarding in your brain and then later on you can view the AI summary to get a gist of the whole idea. You can go ahead and actually download the file as well by just clicking here and if I play this out. Today I went on and I created four different applications using this new release of Gemini 2.5 Pro. 
you can see that the audio is working really well and I can just go ahead and hit clear here to clear the canvas. So this application was generated within 10 minutes. I admit that everything was not perfect at start. I had to do some iterations here. I had to give it some API keys. For example, I gave it an API key for the raw transcription to use the OpenAI's Whisper model. I also went on and gave it the Gemini's free API key for the AI summary and it incorporated both of these API keys inside the code base and generated this amazing code which is around 600 lines long and to be really honest i was surprised at the results it took me 10 minutes to build a personal audio scribe and summarizer and with this new update i cannot imagine the limit of possibilities to build using ai so that was so that was our third application that we did in this video but now i want to demo out the grand application that i created using gemini 2.5 pro and this application is this webgl rubik's cube it took me quite some time to generate this amazing rubik's cube application and it is just mind-blowing and this one i did on my local machine because i knew that some of the libraries will not work inside the gemini apps canvas so i went on to google ai studio and i gave it this lengthy of a prompt to create the html css and javascript code and again i will be pasting in this prompt in the video description so you don't need to worry about that it is quite a lengthy prompt right so it went on generated the boilerplates for me and then i iterated over these boilerplates and generated this end result now to talk about the features of this amazing app what you can do is you can actually click on scramble and it will automatically scramble your rubik's cube you can see the animation is on spot the colors are not messing around and the 3d dynamics are really cool i really like this smoothness here next thing you can do is you can solve this automatically by just clicking auto solve and as you can see it's solving the rubik's cube in steps so you can see every rotation it takes to solve the whole cube and there you go the cube is solved you can actually go ahead and increase the solve speed here another thing that you can do is you can solve or play with this rubik's cube manually as well so you can move the upper row like this down like this then the right this left and left prime then there is the front face the back face and you can pretty much go ahead and go with all the algorithm sequences for a rubik's cube here and that is still not all you can even go ahead and increase the size up to 20 by 20 so if i create this we're right inside a rubik's cube so if i zoom out you can see this is how humongous this rubik's cube is i can go ahead and scramble it manually like this there you go it looks really cool to scramble okay this looks really cool so i can create any size of rubik's cube if I want to create a 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube, just type in the number, hit create and it will generate that cube for you. We can even do this 2x2 two two cube here and actually auto solve it as well. This is really cool and that's why I told you that this is the grand application that I built today using Gemini 2.5 Pro. Although it took me some step to build this application, I had to go on and iterate over it to get the complete code out which was totally worth it. And now I want to talk about wipe coding. So while you're wipe coding, make sure that you define your objectives and the technology that you're going to use for your project. That is one of the most basic things and best practices that you can do for wipe coding. I did this really really extensive prompt all for the reason to get this amazing result so if you want to actually build complex projects using vibe coding you have to go in depth with the prompts so with that said i want to wrap this video up we went on and explored four of the different projects that i created using gemini 2.5 pro from easy to hard ones and really really complex ones as well and the purpose of this video was just to test out the new updated capabilities of gemini 2.5 pro and it really did amaze me with the results if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video till then stay curious and keep exploring